Today we are talking about one of my favorite digital humanities projects, and that is Pixplot coming from the DH Lab at Yale University. Pixplot is a very complex piece of software that needs to be leveraged in Python. And because it needs to be leveraged in Python, we are going to be talking about how to use it as a tool on my other channel, Python for Digital Humanities. What is Pixplot though? Well, Pixplot is an interactive framework in which you can automatically cluster and study pictures and images that are similar in nature. In order to understand Pixplot, you need to understand a few complex things about machine learning and how images are stored in a computer system. But before we get to that, let's take a look at what it does. If we zoom in on the user interface, we can notice some similarity between pictures that appear closer together on this three-dimensional graph. On the left-hand side, we have thumbnails that guide us to clusters or groups of images that have overlapping similar qualities. These have been manually labeled by a researcher. So you can look at those that contain buttons on their suits. You can look at those who are boxing. You can look at those who are holding swords. What is happening here are several different really complex things in the back end. To understand that, we need to understand a little bit about machine learning. Computers and machine learning models do not see images the same way that you or I do. They don't look at them as a series of pixels, pixels on a page, instead what they see are numbers. In order for computers to understand what an image is, they need to understand it in the form of numbers. Machine learning models, such as those leveraged by Pixplot, analyze images numerically. And images have lots of features. Imagine a 40 by 40 pixel image. That image would have 1600 different features. That means that in order to display that image in a numerical way, the computer system must understand it in 1600 different dimensions. Now computers can do this, but they can't convey that information to a human very easily. For this reason, images and analyses of those images need to be reduced by something we call dimension reduction. Pixplot leverages a new dimension reduction algorithm similar to TSNE called UMAP, which came out several years ago with a groundbreaking paper. What it does is it allows for you to reduce the features of all the images to just a few different dimensions. And then what an unsupervised learning model does is it finds images that have similar features and clusters them or places them closer together. Pixplot has two different uses in a digital humanities environment. On the surface, it can be used to teach the concepts of machine learning and clustering algorithms in a very easy to use user interface represented by this WebGL platform here. The other application of Pixplot is applying it to solve domain specific or content specific problems in clustering custom images by leveraging its great Python library. Even if you don't understand what is happening from a machine learning point of view after this video, I encourage you to play around with Pixplot and read some of its documentation so that you can understand the future of the digital humanities.